Okay, somebody's about to be in a car crash. All right, let's see, let's draw the person. Okay, this poor kid is driving home from a concert and he is about to be in a car crash. What sort of factors would affect the, felt that, the force that he feels on his body? Well, if we're looking at the perspective of things he could control, well, one thing that he can control is actually his initial velocity. And yes, that would affect things. The more initial velocity you have, the more momentum you're going to start with. The other thing that we can talk about is um, what's going to be the final velocity. Now, the final velocity, unless this is some kind of weird hit and run thing, which uh, let's assume not, the final velocity he can't control. It's going to be equal to zero. So that's really not going to influence the force in his body. That's just what reality is going to be. Let's talk about what's happening in terms of momentum. So your change in momentum will determine how much impulse he feels okay and impulse is equal to force times time okay so let's let's expand that out p final minus p initial is equal to force times time again he can't really change the final momentum that's going to be zero he can affect how fast he was driving originally so he can change its initial momentum we're curious about how force is going to be affected so the main thing in the car design that's actually gonna save his life one way or another is actually time. The longer you can take him moving from his initial velocity, the longer you can stretch out the time it's gonna take him to stop, the safer he is going to be, the less force he's gonna feel on his body. So what were the answers? Um, let's look at this. So it'll be initial velocity and time of impact would be the key, key factors here.